All right. What you see before you is, I don't know if you can make it out or not, but it says thank you. And I'd just like to take a few minutes and sit down here. These are uh, some of the cars that have picked up since uh, starting on this road of discovery of the uh, Joe pipe. And uh, it was on my agenda uh, this summer when I was in Vancouver to uh, do something with the Joe pipe and uh, to get it out to people. And uh, I think I've reached that point. And uh, during that time, I, you know, I've been going to different places, shopping around for materials. And uh, I'd just like to share a little bit. I remember being up in, I don't know if it was Port Moody or something like that, with uh, Keith, or Keith, I'm not going to mention your last name, with uh, industrial plastics. Uh, picked up some uh, plastic there, industrial plastic, to make a, a bubbler system. Thank you. And for uh, Vancouver, at uh, I'm going to give a thanks to Roger from uh, Quest. I picked up some, uh, they donated some stainless steel and all that that I made. Uh, some uh, HHO, HHO device from. And uh, Port Alberni, I believe Broadway Marine and, and, and Industrial. Picked up some stuff from them. Thank you. And, oh yeah, the stand, not the stainless, but the, uh, what do you call it, titanium pipe, Glenn, from uh, Core West, he was a gentleman there, I remember when I was up there, he showed me the, uh, on, 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 uh, about the fires up in, or taking place up in, in uh, Prince George at the time. And uh, so he gave me a pretty good deal on the titanium pipe. Let's see here. Lots of people. Oh yeah, sheet metal. Uh, Stephen's uh, sheet metal. Glenn, I give you thanks for, for helping. And there's a part machine, of, that's where I actually picked up the, um, the stainless steel for the biggie pipe, the 4 inch by 57 foot. And, uh, people next door, they, they welded the pipe together for me. And give you thanks. Uh, another one is uh, Alberta Engineering in, in, in Port. Thank you, Terry, and all you guys. And uh, Jerry, I think his name is Jerry, here in Nanaimo. I picked up those, uh, he donated those uh, carbon rods. I meet so many people. It's hard to keep track of any, everybody, so you know, you get to do the next best thing and, and uh, keep the business cards. And, and I know uh, that the time is coming that it's going to take uh, all you trades people out there, all, all you guys working in these different industries to, uh, uh, you know, if the time came, and I believe it's soon, to begin to uh, building and designing and, and uh, making these different uh, units available, like the Joe Pipe assemblies, you know, the, the plug-in models, and the, and the different uh, bodies for uh, generating hot water and, and, and power and, and, and steam and uh, you know making uh, waste oil heaters and things like that. It's, it's going to take fabricators, it's going to take welders uh, to, uh, to, to do this. So maybe in the uh, slow time as winter approaches this would be uh, something that uh, you guys could pick up and because uh, the need is there. and. Uh, 
you know, with the way things are going economically and all that, there's a, it's probably going to get better or worse before it gets any better. And uh, I can't, you know, I see, I see, I do see it not get, getting fairly bad. So we need to prepare as a people, prepare and there's, there's things that we can do with what we have. Uh, and especially with the time, you know, having time on our hands, we can take this time and uh, put it to best use to, to designing and making things that's not only going to help us in a time of crisis, but it's also going to help others who are around us. And uh, this is something that, uh, you know, Vancouver Island and in Vancouver that we, we should get behind. And uh, I certainly put uh, Vancouver on the map for, for helping people. And I just like to say, you know, with uh, you know, with all the churches and all all that out there, everyone would just donate one dollar for the to put a master plan together to get a working prototype together that would see the homeless have a place or the the, the poor have a, have a place. You know, cut through all the politics. It's, you know, it's, let's make some portable setups to where people don't have to sleep outside. There's no reason for it. Most of it's politics. Just cut out the politics and just do something. And I'm sure that there's lots of private property that would be willing to uh, donate a space, even if you have to pay rent on it. And you could have something that would be uh, a nice, fair little place to camp and uh, wouldn't have to sleep outside. And that we would be ready when the what's happening in the states with Bushville and that it's going to happen here. You're going to see Harperville happen here in Canada, and uh, you can't say no because it's it's going to happen. The, the writing's on the wall, and so let's use the time to prepare. Maybe this drill pipe technology could could be used to uh, make little camp situations for those who don't have a place who are sleeping outside. And, and for those who are about to lose their homes here, we're going to see it. So this is this would be a reprieve. This would be a step ahead, not just talk, but it'd be people uh, working together to take action. And uh, I'm just one person, but I know if you have heart, that's what counts, right? If you got heart, and uh, if you got love for your neighbor. That's what counts. That's what life is all about. You know, loving God with all your heart, loving your neighbor as yourself, not being afraid to show it. And uh, I, I love people. What can I say? And uh, I like to do things that, that help people to, to meet people's needs. Okay, that ends this little session. Thank you from everybody that's put their little part in. It, uh, all the little pieces go a long ways to, to putting together the, the bigger picture. And uh, I just give you thanks once again.